everyone, this is TCRD, and today, to celebrate 200 subscribers to the very last time, I will be showing you how I make my thumbnails. If you haven't seen my last two videos on how I record and edit my videos, then I recommend you check out those videos before you watch this one. Now without further ado, let's get right into the video. I've recorded my video and edited it. Now it's time to do the final step, make a thumbnail. When I make a thumbnail for one of my videos, I use a program called Adobe Photoshop. I like to use this program because there are so many different things you can do with it. After I've started up Photoshop, I first need to create a background for my thumbnail. So, I'll create a new document. A YouTube thumbnail is usually a size of 1280 by 720 pixels. My background has been created, but there is no color. To fix this problem, I will go on over to Google Chrome to look for the background I want. Depending on the video, the thumbnail background may have to be different. For this video, the background for my thumbnail will have fire because it will attract attention and it also kind of relates to the video. Now I will copy the image and paste it in Photoshop. Then I'll position it so it looks nice. Great! I've got a background for my thumbnail. But I still need to add Bowser and Mario into the image. So I will visit Google Chrome once again to find a picture of Bowser and Mario. Just like in the last video, I'll be looking for PNG images, which are images without backgrounds. Don't forget that since this is a plush video, I'll need to find pictures of plush characters. First, a picture of Bowser. And now, a picture of Mario. I was able to find a good picture of plush Mario, but notice how the image still has a background? So, with some helpful tools of Photoshop, I will extract the image and make it a PNG by myself. First, I'll select the area I want to extract with the Select tool. Then, I will delete the old image. Perfect! Now the image I wanted doesn't have a background, and I have the plush characters that I need. What I like to do after I found the needed characters for my thumbnail is give them facial expressions. I think that it makes them look more interesting and funny. You already know how I get my images, so I'll skip this part. Now that my expressions have been added, all I have to do now is add some text. I really like using a special font called Cooper STD because it looks nice and it's easy to read. I'll be calling this video Mario and Bowser's Fight. Notice how the text is white and sort of hard to read? Something I like to do is add a border around the words so they are easier to see. Amazing! The thumbnail is all done and ready to be shown to the public. Now you know how I make my thumbnails. If you would like to see the video and thumbnail that I've worked on for the past three days, it will be uploaded on Kamek's YouTube channel called Kamek Lol. Kamek told me to tell you that 
he is way better than BJ's YouTube channel, BJ Plays. Thank you so much everyone for celebrating 200 subscribers with me. Now let's try and get 300.